uh, I was musical director of the Comedy Society in the early 90s and these, this was a couple of years before the refurbishment of the Queen's Theatre and I guess it was called the Queen's Hall in the old days but I think when I became associated with it it was the Queen's Theatre but I remember on one particular the first show I did was Finian's Rainbow which was, went very well but the second show I did the following year was called it was Oklahoma and this was before the refurbishment and so the, it was the old orchestra pitch which wasn't as low as it is now and I, there I was standing up and I had a, a pit full of orchestra and the grand piano used to be lowered down into the pit as well so that took up maybe a third of the space so we were really in like sardines and then the maybe 40, 50 players were on the stage singing away the songs of Oklahoma and I got up just to pick up my baton ready to conduct, conduct the next number and there's this, ta- this lady tapped me on the back of my board patch on my head this old doddery lady and she, she said young man do you mind sitting down because I can't see the show and that was right in the middle of a musical number so that was, that was the thing that I wanted to speak to you about okay. that was the recollection of the old days just before the refurbishment and then during the because the comedy society was one of the three or four local and dram societies that used every year as they still do now it was that the following year that we couldn't use the theatre. The, the theatre was out of um, use for a whole, virtually a whole season, while they completely rebuilt the in- interior, uh, structured the, the foyer, and of course the, the rake system on the seating was permanent rather than movable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like in the old days when you used to go in, and uh, it had all been removed, and it was just a flat floor area with the antiques there each week I don't forget probably a Wednesday or something like that and you made it a Friday the Friday and you could walk through from the point and you could see right across the floor area through into the panel market because they used to open the double doors on the other side didn't they you could just go through anyway of course that all changed and during that year instead of us using the theatre we went out and did a cabaret that was like a two one hour two one hour acts with a, a meal uh, yeah full meal for uh, ticket holders in between the two acts so it was like a really good evening to entertain them and we went around all the local towns about four different no five three four different venues yeah Newton Barnstable Holsworthy Biddeford yeah so, and you're still you're, you're, you're involved in the theatre now? So I am, much? yes. I'm, I'm involved quite a lot. I'm, I'm going to be heavily involved in the gala concert on the 14th. Okay. And, um, and Dodds asked me to form a big band, which I've got already done. There's some local talent performing. And so we're getting ready for that great event. Perfect. And then I help um, with Lee Baxendale on Saturdays with the La La's sort of, and all that as well. So I, I'm quite committed to working with the theatres, not on the stage. I've done some quite on the stage, but more background. Where, where do you like to see it in six years' time? This is sort of envisaged, you know, how, how, how do you like to see the theatre develop? Um, well, it's different. It's difficult to know in terms of, I mean, in terms of um, actual facilities. I think they're pretty much all there. I mean, obviously, if it was maintained and uh, just refurbished, well, there were plans. I remember at one time everybody was talking about, you know, moving perhaps if Banbury's became more of Banbury's space became available then the actual stage could actually grow in size as well because it is a small stage it's more modest in size I mean the landmark stage is much bigger and therefore there's a lot more in terms of that what you've got with the theatre of course is height so you can fly scenery quite well 
but there's no, no, there's no space in the wings, you see, it's really tight. So I think they are restricted in many ways, but what, so therefore what they do is superb, I think the variety and the quality of the performance, I love all that. So, all I would like to see in the future is that we're going through hard times, I don't believe, I think it's, it's we struggle to get people to come to the theatre and buy tickets to fill theatres. You know, it's a constant battle for trying to find new innovative ideas and initiatives to lure people into theatre. And it's so rich. And, you know, I don't think we can underestimate the quality of the theatre, the stuff that's put on there, and the variety of it is fabulous. I mean, it's, it's better than so many other theatres dotted around the country. So, long, I just would love to see it continue, get through the struggling period so that it can survive, and then just continue to produce fabulous entertainment, really.